All right, so this is going to be my second video talking about D3O, which is feature, featured in all the armadillo jackets that we've been talking about. And um, again, I think I answered some of the questions. It's not liquid inside the jacket. The jacket does have D3O inside of it. It works great. But what exactly is this stuff? That's the main question I keep getting. Well, it's a pattern shock absorbing material. Obviously, you see it here. It's, uh, it's gooey, but um, this is the state of the material before it gets... Um, transformed into the actual armor and as you can see it will start to melt and next you know it'll be a little puddle of D3O. Well the reason behind this is that it's an intelligent molecule. It's uh, soft uh, and molds. Um, if you put it, if I press onto it, it's going to absorb the slow motion, the slow molecules here. So when you move slowly, it's going to move freely and it's going to be soft, it's going to be flexible, it's going to be very fun. It leaves no residue. That's something else. Look, there's nothing on my hands. There's no uh, gooey stuff on my hands or anything like that, like Play-Doh. Um, it doesn't leave any oil or anything. You can just keep playing with it. So as a toy, as a demo on the counter at the store, it's going to be great because people are going to want to play with it. Um, but it's flexible and soft because, again, it's a slow rate of movement. And the same thing applies to the armor that I showed you before. Um, at high speeds, however, it's going to lock up. The molecules are going to get hard. See how this is soft and flexible? If you push... It's going to be soft, but if you hit it, or if you're running and you hit something, like on a bicycle, if you fall off, or if you fall off your scooter, your motorcycle, even a moped, it's going to lock up. It's going to get hard, and that's because the intelligent molecules all band together upon impact. So upon impact, it's going to absorb the shock and get hard. You know, if you wrap it around your hand, it's going to absorb the shock and it's going to get hard, but if you press it softly, it's going to still be gooey. So it's low profile, it's low weight, it's, it gets into the, the clothing very easily. You can take it out when you're going to wash your armadillo jacket. Um, nothing's been compromised when you put this in. Um, you know, it's still better than a hard plastic. Hard plastic, like this wood right here, transfers that energy right into your bone, where something made of rubber is going to bounce it off and disperse it. And that's what I like about the, the deep the D3O. It's, um, it's got the qualities that makes it perfect for any application, um, especially any clothing garment. Um, it's lightweight. It's uh, moldable. They're going to make it into nice uh, nice little mats that they can put into the back of your, of your jacket. Um, the Armadillo has a new optional back protection for the camo jacket and for some of the other jackets they're going to have for 2010. Um, but all the Armadillo jackets have D3O in the shoulders and in the elbows, which are the exact places that you're going to fall and hit when riding your scooter. So I hope that answers some of the questions. Um, if you have some more on our blog, feel free to email me or ask questions. Again, it doesn't come in this format. It comes in to, it comes as a pad, uh, which I've shown before. But again, uh, this is how it works, and it's fantastic stuff. It's featured in all the 2010 Armadillo jackets. So make sure to visit armadilloscooterwear.com or mrp-p.com. All right, guys, I hope that answers your questions.